Hey, man. Hey, man. Thank you so much oh, for hi. coming up for Castle okay, Evaluation. I didn't know if I was supposed to start or you were going to start. Well, I usually start, but, you know, this isn't a typical... I've been interviewing cast up here, and this has been awful, but it's good. It's We got the head writer up here now. We're going to actually talk brass tacks. Indeed, yes. Indeed. So, how are things going? What's the best idea you've heard so far? Um, There's this one where... A cat. I got up and the cat jumped in my chair, and we were like, "What if a cat wrote this show?" That would be oh. hilarious. That's weird because like so many of the scripts you're giving me, a lot of the dialogue, like the the stage direction is as if one were a cat, which is a good bit. Which would be a good bit That's if good it wasn't bit. if it wasn't in like every sketch. Well, it's accessible because we all know a cat. Everyone knows a cat. We all know a cat. Everyone knows a cat. Belmont knows a cat. You know a cat. Heck, Lipscomb knows a cat. Do you want to write a children's book called Everyone Knows a Cat? I don't think that would be as successful for children. No? Some of them don't know cats. But everyone does. So. Children just aren't people. Children are not. They're not quite there. I'm not going to rule them out. They're just not quite They there. might be people one day. Someday. Let's Who hope. Knows? Eric. Your writing staff this year is incredible. Riley Bauer, Josh Knickerbocker, Hilary Bell, Robert Ooh. Nepper. Your Wait, writing staff. Who? Where did you think all these pitches were coming from? Oh, oh, those guys. Yes. Yeah, okay, okay. You okay. call them those guys collectively? I have not gotten their names because they, they went over their names once and I was playing with the cat um, and I didn't catch uh, names. What do you say if you want just one of them? But we've been hanging out for a while now. Yeah. So like it's You've been working. We're You've been writing the this show. <laughs> way past the point where I can you ask them You can't ask names. now. I understand. No, so I'm just like, it's like, hey, man. Slugger, what you got for me today? <laughs> that's that's a that's I'll, one way. I'll say, out. throw me a softball, home run boy. You like to keep all of your buddy buddy in the same spec? Hey, in the same ballpark. Right, and I'm just like, hey, Ace, you want to play tennis? Keep well, what? keep it all in the same ballpark. But then you said tennis. I mean, sometimes, sometimes the deal breaks while shaking the hand. Sometimes it's not quite enough. As a writer, the cast they are your tools. Indeed. I'm going to name each cast member, and I want you to tell me which tool you see them as. Okay. Here we go. Ross Collier. Uh, hammer. Trevor Black. Uh, wrench. Kellen Schneider. Hammer. Chris Chaput. What's the one where you kind of... Oh, oh, uh... Wrench. 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 Um, Joey Kenkel. What's the one where you... That's a hammer. A hammer, yeah. Uh, Chris Chaput. Uh, a doctor. Okay. Um, Trevor Black. Hammer. Trevor Black. A wrench. Joey. <laughs> I have no idea, man. I know two tools. Look at these glasses. Do you think I work with cars? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know tools. I do know... Uh, yeah, what's a metaphor you know about? Uh, baseball. All right, let's do this. Uh, let's let's do this again. We'll just take it from screen. Here we go. Um, Eric, as a writer, the cast—they're kind of like your your baseballs, right? Okay? Just like them. They're just like your baseballs. So I'm gonna list off each cast member, and you tell me which baseball you think they are. Okay. Okay. Uh, Chris Chaput. One going out of the park. Okay. Uh, Joey Kankel. Strike them out every time. Trevor Black. Slugger. Kellen Schneider. Four bagger. Uh, I'm realizing now that we haven't been doing any women, which is because we've been talking about sports and tools. So let's let's just try another. Okay. Eric, as a writer, mm -hmm. the cast, they're kind of like your kitchenware. Okay. So if you were in the Your kitchen not mine. cooking up a sketch. Okay, okay here we go. Uh, one one tool, one uh one kitchenware item. Uh Lizzie de Guzman. Oh, she's the oven. You said that like a little <laughs> sensually. What do you mean? You said that like a little <laughs> no, sensually. No, no, no. I said that and you were like, oh, she's the oven. She's the oven. Like the implied, like the implied text was like, hot. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just saying she's the oven. All right, we're going to move on. She's, she's if, you, if you keep at this level, maybe that can be oh, excused. Oh, boy, okay. Now I've really got to keep at that level. Yeah. Okay, uh, Austin Williams. She's the toaster. That felt wildly disingenuous. Why is she the toaster? Because. Practically speaking? 
you put in something cold. Oh, boy. And then it gets a little hotter. You be. <gasps> oh, okay. Uh, who am I missing? Uh, I'm missing, of course, Ellery Bond. Oh, she is a crockpot. Because you put in something cold and it gets a little hotter. I'm not, okay, so I was judging you last time for what I thought was a really gross metaphor, but now I'm realizing you're trying to make sure all of the items have the same main quality. You're like, you're just picking things that like of is, whatever. They, okay, so fine. Let's see. Let's see if my theory holds true. Fourth and finally, Catherine. Microwave. Hathaway. That was really fast. Why? Because you put in something cold. And it gets a little hotter. It always does. Uh, Eric, thank you for coming in for cast evaluations. I hope writing is going easily. And, uh, you know, uh... I wrote it last night. You finished the show last night? I wrote it last night, yeah, while everyone was sleeping. Okay. Eric, thank you for coming in.